What's up guys, before we get into this video, we did get over 100 comments on the last video this time for sure. There wasn't a lot of views on the last video, I don't know what's going on, you guys don't want to know about the super secret spot? Well if you really do want to know about the super secret spot, you better go back and watch that video before you watch this one. So at the end of this video, we are going to pick a random comment winner for a prize. Congratulations, here we go! of the morning friends and family how we doing on this beautiful hawaiian day we are headed over to my buddy pete's house i told you about his house the other day flooding and mudslides really affected his place they're having to roll off dumpster show up at the house today so i'm gonna go help them get cleaned up a little bit find out a little bit more detail about what what exactly went down and see what happened when we get there it is a beautiful drive let's go So we're here at my buddy Pete's place. He's right back here down this driveway. So you can see what kind of happened is the rain flowed down through that valley and collected and poured down that way and poured all the way down this direction. And all the way through this canal and this canal basically overflowed and flooded all the way over to this side through the house. Let's go ahead and take a little look through the house and see the kind of damage that happened. Um, the rain was coming out really hard and the cloud just kind of sat on top of the island and just poured buckets. So you can see they got all their stuff piled out here. All the stuff that's getting tossed in that dumpster right there, they're cleaning up right now. Dumpster's getting pretty full. First came to the island, Pete would let me stay in this room as I needed, which was a lot. So they've already torn out some of the drywall parts of the house. And you see where the water level was. This is water was rushing through the house that, at that height. Coming through this screen door. And there's a water line you can see here on the window. You can see the water line. And up here, here's a pretty distinct line. So that's about, about waist high. About waist high, there was water running through this whole house. Pretty nuts. So they filled basically this whole dumpster up today. They've got a lot more stuff to try and fit in there. So he's cutting stuff apart to try and make the most out of the space because the dumpster's not getting picked up for a few days. So trying to fit as much stuff in there as possible to get this whole yard cleaned out. This is my buddy Pete. Hi. <laughs> Pete is working his butt off right now. You want to you wanna tell everybody kind of like what happened? I mean, yeah, so play by play. This is the second major flood in my lifetime. First one was in 1987, 88 New Year's. When I was a kid, I saw the, the canal overflow, which is a, the drain water system for Coolio O Valley. Uh, so this is the second time it happened. First time there was flood insurance on the property, now there isn't. Uh, this, this time it was twice as bad, it was twice as deep. And uh, so the, the bridge on Kalaneaneole Highway acted as, as a dam oh, and it wow. flooded this whole um, neighborhood, even on the other side of the stream. Everything inside the house is just covered in mud, starting to grow mold. And we just need to get it out of here and save the property. And my mother narrowly got out with her life. It rose risen to its maximum height of about three and a half feet, four feet in some of the highest spots in a matter of minutes and water was just rushing into the doors causing pressure on all the doors. My mother couldn't get out any of them. So she had to wade through falling refrigerators, uh, just debris swishing around everywhere in the house and she ended up climbing out of that 
screen window right over there. That was the only way she could get out. And by that time, she was up to her waist in water. And she was doing that the whole time while carrying a dog. Oh my god. Uh, replacing the dog, putting it here while she did this, then picking the dog back up. When she got out here, she was dodging floating logs who, that came from this property and other people's properties. She made it safely to the neighbor's house and uh, gladly they took her in and I'm grateful to them. The house is a loss right now. We're just trying to get it cleaned up as, as fast as we can. All the help uh, we get, we we're very appreciated. Of. It's been in my family for four generations. My great grandfather brought the property in a long time ago, in the 50s. They're just trying to keep the property still in the family and not letting this ruin it. to see the house like this. So I want to tell you guys a little bit about Pete and and who Pete is to me. When I first came to this island, Pete and his family basically took me in and let me stay in this in this room with for free of charge just out of the kindness of their hearts and that's just the beginning. Pete literally gave me his drum set so that I could play shows with it and literally gave it to me. And you know when people say people give you the shirts off their back? Pete literally did that one time. We were, I was going to play a gig. I didn't have a shirt with me because I'd been at the beach all day and he was giving me a ride to the gig with his drums of course and and I, was, I realized on the way, I was like, oh shoot, I don't have a shirt. And he's like, oh, don't worry, bro. here you go, here you go. <laughs> he literally took his shirt off his back and gave it to me so that I could play my gig with a shirt on. These are the type of people that I always luckily find in my life. And I'm just hoping that you guys will help me spread this out there a little bit and maybe get these guys a little bit of help. There is, a, There will be a link down in the description for a GoFundMe that they have set up to try and help deal with some of the costs. Pete has done so much for me in my life. You know, he's just been one of those guys that's always there for me whenever I need somebody. So I would be a fool not to try to do the same for him when he's clearly in need. So thank you guys. Well, it's just about full, guys. Still a lot of work to do out here, though. Pete is concerned about me getting mold on myself and bringing it back to Leia, so he's cutting me loose, but, oh man, what a mess, guys, what a mess. I think I'm gonna end this segment of the vlog for this day and we'll pick up again tomorrow and keep it in the same vlog. Does that make sense? Makes sense. That's that's basically me today. That that sums me up. Not that it's just the time of the time of the trip where I'm just I want to lay here and not really do anything on my face, preferably. But if I'm laying on my face and I can't talk to anybody, <laughs> we're just kind of hanging out by the pool right now. I'm very proud of myself. I have not had more than almost even half a beer on this trip, so I'm not tired because I'm hung over anything. I'm just tired because I've been, why, do I have a good reason to be tired? Because you're not eating healthy. What are you talking about? <laughs> You've been Sp eating like crap and drinking soda. Speaking of. And not exercising. <laughs> speaking of uh, exercise, or speaking of food, I really wanted to get my favorite Kahlua pig. About. My favorite Kahlua pig is made by this company here in Kailua, and they only serve it on Fridays, which was yesterday for me, and I missed it. And we're leaving on Thursday, so I'm not gonna have a chance to get it because we were so busy. You know, I was, I was going out helping Pete, and then we went to the show, and I just completely spaced getting my favorite plate of food while we were here. 
And now it's starting to rain. <laughs> it hasn't rained until you came out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm not complaining about the rain. I love rain. I love tropical weather and tropical weather comes with rain. Especially when it lasts two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rain rain in Hawaii it either lasts, you know, it either comes down like like mad cakes and destroys things or it rains for like five minutes and then the cloud blows over with the trade winds. But have you guys ever tried to sleep in the rain? Oh no, there's rain and some sun coming out. We gotta keep our eyes open for our rainbow. When life hits you in the balls, grab it and shake it off and dig deep. Nothing wrong with a little bit of whining and complaining from time to time. You know, that's that's part of our human condition is to whine and complain about things from time to time. I, think. I don't think there's a single person out there that's never whined or complained about something. But don't leave it there. Don't just stop with the whining and complaining, you know, because that's not going to solve any of your problems. Obviously, you're whining and complaining because you have a problem. But don't just sit there and whine and complain about it and then be done. Because then that's then it's not, like now it's, over there, but might have it's gone away. just your problem and nobody else's at that point. If, if you take the problem, look for a solution. Find out what is the solution to this problem. Don't just sit there and go, oh, life's not fair. Because no, life's not fair. It's not fair. But you can do everything in your power to you know, balance it out to where you're not feeling so beat down upon. But it's hard work sometimes and you have to do it. You have to, you have to push forward and get to where you want to be. And nobody's going to come along and say, oh, sorry, poor you here. Let me take you up. And even if they do, even if that, that does happen from time to time, that's not, then what happens next time? They still got to be looking around for somebody to pick you up and get you off your butt. You got to, nobody wants to help somebody who's not willing to help themselves, right? Well, it's karma. Everything is karmic, so it happens in cycles. Sure. But if you, if you really want... <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> if you really, to say, oh, see yes, what I'm talking about? Wife. See what I'm talking about with this? this oh, there's yes. rain versus sun. Yeah. There was the cloud. There was the cloud there that was raining on us, and now there's the sun beating down upon us. So uh, there, yeah. So that's how we're. Yeah, no rain without rainbows. No, no, rainbows no, no rain. Yeah, no rainbows without rain. Mm -hmm. This ties in with what I'm talking about. You, sometimes life throws you struggles, and you gotta struggle through them. And nothing wrong with well, asking for that's help. What makes all the good stuff so good? Yeah, but just complaining about it. Oh, good. Gotta get up. Gotta be in the present moment. Gotta gotta push through. And when somebody sees you pushing through. They'll probably jump up, jump up next to you and be like, "Here, let me help you push that." You, you get it? You get? You know what I'm? You know what I'm saying? Am I making? I have a whole little segment called Advice from the Cuscos. <laughs> <laughs> this has been your first segment of Advice from the Cuscos. I hope you take it, <laughs> not as criticism, but as advice on how to be a more successful human being. I know. Wait, I didn't ask you. <laughs> He <laughs> knows what you're gonna say. What's that? I know elephants. Elephants? <laughs> what about elephants? That they're big and they have trunks and have horns. I mean tusks and big ears and some things so are called elephant tail. I mean <laughs> elephant ears. That yeah. I know. Um, where do they live? On the African savannah. Yep, and in Asia. Asia? That are, what, are so they, what do they eat? Are they, are they herbivores or omnivores? Herbivores. Omnivores eat meat and um, uh, plants. And that means um, people are... Look at me. That was, that was an abrupt end to a... Uh, yes. That was a special slow-mo Hawaiian hair segment for all you ladies. <laughs> oh no, here's a real Hawaiian hair segment. Yaya, come here.
that's a real Hawaiian hair segment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Cause, Eli, what do you know? I know. Cereal. Cereal? Yeah. What about cereal? Because they're coloring and black and all. What? <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you do with cereal? Oh, 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 um, eat. eat. And what do you put in cereal? Milk. And what do you eat it with? Coons. And what <laughs> kind of thing do you put it in? Milk. But what do you put it in? What is that thing? A cup or a... A bowl. Oh. <laughs> That's a no <laughs> So I think on the agenda, something that we're actually, I'm not just gonna lay around all day. It sounds nice and I, I may do that for most of the day. Even though now I'm standing up and walking around, I'm supposed to be laying, look at, this, look at Hillary. I'm babysitting. Hillary's babysitting. <laughs> You know, it's not babysitting when it's your baby. No, it's, I'm babysitting Yaya. Oh, babysitting Yaya. Okay, okay. All right, she's literally, she's actually, okay. Yaya is not our kid, so I guess we are babysitting. But my point is, I'm not just gonna, look, there's the, there's the, that's where the whole camera incident happened. <laughs> so, as far as today, what's cool? It doesn't look as cool on camera as it does in real life. So, I'm not just gonna sit around all day. We are hopefully going to go and find some sea turtles. We're gonna go to Waimanalo Beach and <laughs> see if it's not too stormy. And I can hopefully drag my GoPro into the water and find you guys some footage of a Hawaiian sea turtle. If for some reason on this trip we do not find a Hawaiian sea turtle in the water with my GoPro, I do have epic footage of a Hawaiian sea turtle that I filmed when I was here last year that I can place in and we can look at that. <laughs> is that okay? That's not, oh, it's not trying hard enough is what it is, Hillary says, okay. All right, so we need to try really hard to get fresh footage of Hawaiian sea turtles. That is the mission today. That is the mission for this segment of this vlog. Don't bounce the cereal. We're going to Waimanalo, um, little kid-friendly beach, um, right by a beach park. And trip's been going great so far. We're having a lot of fun. We've seen so many friends. And um, I had an excursion with just me and the kids, kind of an all-day outing to visit my cousin and her baby girl and then go to the zoo, the Honolulu Zoo. Um, it was good, it was, you know, it's more the logistics of getting into the car and out of the car, and Baby Girl um, is not a huge fan of the car rides, so um, I had to stop and feed her at one point because there was traffic and, you know, a little, a little stressful. So I told Brian I didn't really want to have a uh, solo excursion with all of them again. If it's just close right here in town, that would be okay, but not over to the main Honolulu town of the island. Um, <laughs> well, this is little Kailua town. Did you say main Honolulu town? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I said main Honolulu, main town Honolulu on the island or something. I don't know. Everyone calls Honolulu town. But we're in Kailua, and we just can also call Kailua town, because it's Kailua town. So anyways, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything else has been good. We've had decent weather. It hasn't been raining a lot. It hasn't been... <laughs> what are you talking about? What? We had a cloud 
clouds all, we get clouds all the time we're here. Yeah, we've had clouds the whole time we're here, but not a bunch of rain. Yeah. Not compared to what they had like last week. Right. So I think that's cool because then we're not getting all sunburned and um, yeah, whatever. As long as it's not pouring the whole time, I am okay with some cloudiness. Um, we've had a couple moments of blue skies and sunshine here and there. Um, usually when you want more of that, you go over to town, Honolulu, Waikiki area. And um, even if it's kind of rainy on the windward side, it'll be sunny over there a lot of times. But it's been a really wet year and um, they've had months and months of rain and clouds. So they're even feeling it over here. Um, but yeah, so another little adventure day and hopefully we'll find some turtles. Whoa. Okay, sorry. Eat your food. I'm not gonna bother you. Back away from it, Noah. Just got to the beach and already people are dying. Well, not people. Bugs. Bugs. Did you see that epic battle between that roach and that wasp? Jeez. Check this guy out. This guy. This guy is awesome. <laughs> this is Savon. I'm, I'm gonna put a link down in the description so you can find his music. This guy is like the Hawaiian Stevie Ray Vaughan. I kid you not. And I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out. Seriously, one of the most awesome Hawaiian musicians out there. Or just musicians in general, really. So we're at Waimanalo Beach. It's gorgeous out here, as you can see. This is like the Corona commercial beach, you know, just white sand and blue sky, blue water, beautiful. That island has lots of rabbits on it, supposedly. I haven't been over there. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to go out to that island, but from what I understand, there's a wild population of rabbits. <laughs> so we could start a little retic population over there. <laughs> just kidding. But I'm gonna take myself this GoPro and selfie stick and this pair of goggles right here. I'm gonna enter this water and hopefully find you guys some turtles. I can't keep my face in the water the whole time. Hopefully, if we don't find one here, I'm not gonna give up if we don't find one here. We're gonna try other spots, but there's really cool sea cucumber down there. No turtle yet, but not completely empty-handed. We got this little crab dude here. He's just running right across the sand, and he's cool. Look at him. We are at the super secret spot video, and let's get into it. We're gonna copy the video URL, go into the comment picker, paste it in there, 
with a pasty pasty McPasterton and filter duplicate users. We are doing. Whoa, what the? 120 unique commenters on the super secret spot video. Start the raffle. Lance Kirkman, awesome swimming area, bro. Lance, right on, man. We're gonna send you a prize. You're gonna love it, you're gonna enjoy it.